Welcome back, Golden Family. I soaked in all your feedback and it's time to get busy again. Y'all know how much I love carbs and today we're making a steak fajita pasta. These fusions of two cuisines are what I live for. So to my Italians and Mexicans, cut your boy some slack. This is me honoring your beautiful flavors and combining them together. And every time I come up with a recipe like this, it reminds me of how much I think with my stomach. I'm just gonna blame it on the fasting for now. Now to start, I feel like it's very appropriate to make our fajita mix. This seasoning blend is what we're gonna use throughout the recipe. I like a very strong kick, so I'm using a lot of cayenne pepper, a bunch of smoked paprika, a generous amount of chili powder, cumin is strong so don't go too crazy on it, garlic powder is essential, onion powder, salt, salt so nothing's bland, and I usually avoid sugar but it just makes everything better. Now of course you could do store bought, but in my opinion mixing your own spices just makes such a big difference. Now I'm gonna mix this all up and I'm gonna use this throughout the recipe. Now what's gonna really help bring smokiness and depth of flavor is gonna be some beef bacon. All right, let's do this together. Repeat after me, beef, bacon, beef, every single time. Eh, how are you Muslim and you're eating bacon? Beef. Okay, sorry, I'm done. We're gonna slice them up into tiny cubes, just like this. For our steak of choice, I'm gonna be doing some grass-fed ribeye. Use any cut of beef that you could eat in strips. In cooking, it's all up to you. I'm slicing these into strips before I even cook them, so every single piece gets covered with seasoning and gets a nice, beautiful crust on it. Let's get generous with our spice rub. Now it's ribeye, so don't overkill it with seasoning. And these bits of fat are gonna melt and add flavor. Now for these pasta recipes, I pride myself on having a symphony of flavors in your mouth. This pasta's flavor is just addicting when you dive into it. So I have a few tricks up my sleeve. I think sun-dried tomatoes are so underrated. These tomatoes went on vacation and they just have so much more flavor. And yes, I'm using kitchen tweezers because I'm extra. Now these Calibrian chilies are another one of my secrets. They add so much flavor and spiciness and they're very underrated. And now we're just gonna finally dice everything. What I like to do to this mixture to add some garlic. And yes, I cheat sometimes and I use store-bought garlic. For our fresh vegetables, we're gonna do some peppers and jalapeno. Instead of an onion, I like a shallot. You could obviously use an onion if you like. And I don't mind the seeds, you could easily keep them if you like. If you can't handle spicy, we might have to work on that. But in the meantime, go easy on the cayenne pepper, leave out the jalapeno, use a green bell pepper instead, and the Calibrian chilies, omit them. And then maybe you could grow up and handle some spiciness. All jokes aside, tailor it to your liking. For the pasta, we're gonna be making a normal spaghetti. You can definitely use fettuccine or linguine, those would be really good as well. We'll work on the homemade pasta in another video. Turn your boiling water into the ocean. Here's a cool little trick. Take your noodle, twist it, and then drop it. This way they don't stick and they funnel in beautifully. And then every couple minutes mix it just so it doesn't stick on the bottom of the pan. I'm using a stainless steel pan for this dish. It'll give the steak a nice crust and it's gonna be developing that beautiful fond on the bottom of the pan. You can definitely use non-stick or cast iron, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm using a neutral flavored oil, which simply means it doesn't have a very strong flavor. We're gonna toss in our steak and we really wanna hear a simmer. Now don't play with them too much at first. Let them develop a beautiful crust. Don't overcrowd the pan, the temperature of the pan will drop and they'll start to steam. Color is flavor, baby, come on now. And make sure you don't overcook the steak so it's still nice and tender. And we're gonna add it at the end, it's gonna reabsorb all those flavors and we don't want it to dry out. And now this batch is done as well. See, now the bottom of this pan is liquid gold, no pun intended. We drop the heat so nothing burns and then we add our beef bacon. And we're gonna let these party for a couple minutes. When the fat renders down, we're gonna scrape off those beautiful brown bits on the bottom of the pan. Let's invite our fresh vegetables. For our cheese, we're gonna use a mixture of Monster and Fontina. They're gonna melt beautifully well in the heavy cream sauce and they really pack a punch. I was gonna use pepper jack, it doesn't melt as well and we already have all that spiciness and flavor inside the pasta. After a couple minutes, let's add our Calibrian chili, garlic and sun-dried tomato mixture. And since we didn't season at all, let's go in with our spice mix again. We don't need to overdo it with the spices just because there's so much flavor already. And keep in mind, you see how nothing is yelling for help? That's because we lowered the heat and we're letting everything slowly relax. Be patient and develop that beautiful color. And we're softening up all those beautiful vegetables. Now I must admit, it's kind of torturous that I'm fasting and it smells this good. The chilies, the tomatoes, all those toasted spices, speechless. But I do this for y'all. I better not forget that. Time to splash in some pasta water. Once that sort of dries up a little bit, I'm gonna go in with a whole lot of heavy cream. Oh my. We're gonna bring this to a light bubble just so it thickens up a little bit. Time to add in our beautiful cheese. Just a little mixy mix. We're gonna stir and thicken this up for just a little bit. This is not mac and cheese, you do not want it that thick. And we undercooked our spaghetti just a little bit to al dente, so it continues to cook with the sauce. See, now once it starts giving you a little bit of attitude, we go in with the spaghetti. Mix her all up and add pasta water accordingly. I'm gonna give her one more pinch of our fajita seasoning. We're gonna re-add our steak with all the glorious juice. 
We're just trying to reheat the steak and let it absorb all that beautiful flavor. I just love the presentation in the stainless steel pan. Finish off with cilantro and parsley because you're healthy. And this is just to offset all those calories. Now we have final product. You know how much grip strength this requires? Ah, oh, this hurts. Now, unfortunately, I'm fasting, but as always, now bismillah, you will not be disappointed. Golden family, you know how much I love y'all. I really appreciate all the constant support. Y'all are the best humans in the world, as I always say. I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, uh, drop a follow, share this with a friend. I don't even know why I'm saying drop a follow. Like, you don't even follow, you subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget to do all... Thank you very much, and have yourself a great day. I'm a little tired.